Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The topic is today again for reflection of function, and I'm discussing two parts only of June 14, page reading for 11 and question number 10. It has a diagram is given some uh, small ideas given here. A diagram is coming from here, and then it goes this way. This diagram is given by him. Rough diagram is given, and he said find the range. Range is not a hard job. If you look at carefully. Uh, this, uh, this is called piecewise function. I write a word piecewise function. Okay? It has pieces. How? When you drive a car in different speed, when different speed, second pattern, different speed, and then you, different, like different patterns are there. Sometimes two patterns, sometimes three patterns are there. So here we have a two patterns. So first we have a straight line. This is power of x is 1. And then is a, this is called a, a curve. This curve representing from here. So I think I can see very clearly minus 1 to plus 1. So here what is x value? Minus 1. Here what is x value? Plus 1. So from minus 1 to plus 1 is straight line. Can you see? Clear. And from 1 to 4. It means till 4 here. So this curve is 1 to 4. So not a hard job for you if you want range. So range is from here. There's the lowest value here. And there's the highest value. So if I find these numbers, my answer is over. So find range. So how to find range? So simply when I put this minus 1 here, so add minus 1. What answer comes? 3 times 2 minus 1 minus 2, I got a minus 5. It means, can I say this is a minus 5? Clear. So this is no need to find in the middle because not, there's no break. In the middle there's no break. So find out this 4. This 4 don't put up, put the lower one. So I put in the lower one. So I'm going to use the lower one. So I got a f of 4 and 4 over 5 minus 4, I got a 4. So I think so I can say this. That this answer is what highest is 4. So right where's the range? Starting from minus 5 ending at 4. So range is so simple. So range is so simple. Highest value of the y is 4 and the lowest value is minus 5 over. I think this part is very very clear. Right? So domain is this. This is called domain. This is called range. Okay. Let's talk about that a diagram sketching. And I said before uh, because my graph is starting from minus 1 to 4, so I will plot both. How draw both? You can see here. So I said it before, we have one criteria. What criteria we have? I said you would scale use along x axis, same scale and same values even. So that is why I can see here what the lowest value from here minus 1 to 4. So minus 1 here, then 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. Similarly, one box down here, minus 1 then 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. Enough. So let's start the reflection. So first of all, I will draw uh, at 1 they are meeting, I think. At 1, yeah, at 1 they are same. At 1 and here minus 1. So first I, uh, please, uh, no, minus 5 here. Sorry for that. It's minus 5. It's minus 5. So I have draw once again. No, draw once again. So let's draw a smaller diagram this time. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, minus 5, okay. Now 1, 2, 3, 4, and minus 5, okay. So highest one is 4, so 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. So let's start. First value starting from uh, here, minus 1 till minus 1, here, this is a point. And this joining where, if I put this 1 here, I get 1. So it means at 1, I have 1. So first line is straight. Then you can see 4, 4, 4 and 4. So this is a point here. The graph is turning that way. So if I ask you where is the, how to draw the other one. So not a hard job. First I'll draw a middle line. Middle line. This is called y equal to x. And now I'll draw the reflection. And reflection not hard job for you. This way reflection and this one. You see? I got my reflection easily. How come? Uh, this point is what? X is minus 1, Y is minus 5. Flip them. X is minus 5, Y is minus 1. So I think you see, they are reflection of each other. So what is the relation between them? F of X and F inverse of X are reflection in line Y equal to X. So simple and clear. Stop. 